Basically, what we would want to say is that we want to commend the IDC together with their partners, uh, NAPSA, as well as the uh, Workers' Compensation Fund, for their uh, acquisition of uh, shares, a uh, 49% shares, uh, worth uh, $41,096,000 in uh, Marco Polo Towers. Uh, as you may be aware, Marco Polo Towers is a company that was uh, recently incorporated in 2016 uh, in this country. And this is a company that has gone on to post profits uh, uh, year in year out. And uh, recently, uh, in 2020, they posted profits of about um, 11, uh, billion United States, 11 million United States, States dollars. And uh, for us, as young people, we want to commend this move because um, uh, it promises uh, good fortunes, uh, that is uh, employment opportunities as well as entrepreneurship opportunities for young people in this country. Uh, if you look at uh, Marco Polo Taos, this is a company that uh, produces towels in Zambia using uh, uh, local uh, raw materials. So they don't import anything when they are uh, uh, producing those uh, um, uh, towels. And that is commendable because this contributes to uh, the stability of our balance of payments. You know, the, our currency is usually affected by a lot of imports. And when you look at a company that is involved in manufacturing, they usually have a lot of uh, raw materials that they use in their production. And when you have a company like Macapolo that is using locally uh, sourced raw materials, it means that uh, there is going to be a, a lot of stability in terms of uh, our balance of payments because they, they are not importing anything and this does not affect our currency. And when you look at also um, uh, the company itself, Marco Polo, in the southern region, uh, or we say in the sub-Saharan region uh, of Africa, uh, outside South Africa, Marco Polo Towers is the only company that is manufacturing towers. And when you look at the demand for towers, even in our country currently, there is a lot of construction, which means that there is a lot of demand for construction materials, and that does not uh, leave out uh, uh, towers. So meaning there is a lot of demand, locally there is a lot of demand, and also there is a lot of demand from uh, countries within the sub-region. Uh, demand from uh, DRC, demand from Tanzania, demand from Malawi, Zimbabwe, Botswana, Namibia. So meaning uh, this demand has only been uh, met by companies that are coming from South Africa. But with the coming in of Marco Polo and uh, this investment of IBC, which uh, is going to boost and expand the production of Marco Polo. It means that uh, uh, the country is going to have uh, a positive uh, 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 result as far as uh, Forex is, uh, is concerned. So it's a welcome move and for us as young people we, we commend it because it will result in opportunities for us as young people as well as uh, the general citizenry of our republic. Thank you.